We're gonna start today's workout with a brief warm up. Trainer should be at mid length. Start facing your trainer, elbows at your side. We're gonna be doing 12 basic squats. So sit those hips back, weight in the heels, standing up through the legs, squeezing glutes at the top. Try to keep tension out of those hands. And put most of the work into the legs. Hands are just there for balance. Keep that chest lifted, neck and neutral spine. Push up through the heels. Again, squeezing at the top for 12. Your second exercise is gonna be a hip hinge. Step back just a tiny bit away from your anchor. You've got soft knees. You're gonna push your hips back towards the back wall as you reach your hands to the door. You're gonna push tension down through the handlebars on the trainer, making your spine nice and long. Belly button pulls in when you're in that full out extension. We're gonna add a twist. So from that hinged position, look under one arm and reach back behind you. Just getting some mobility, warming up that back and the shoulders. And as we go down again, we're gonna add a little bit of a bend in that opposite knee. So as one arm reaches, the opposite knee bends a little bit, just adding a little more rotation through the whole body. Feeling a stretch maybe through the hip and through the calf. And as we come back up, we're using our hamstrings and glutes to lift us back to that standing position. Our final exercise in our warm up is gonna be an overhead squat. So reaching hands overhead, tension on the anchors. Your hands are in those foot straps, pushing back towards the back wall. You're again sitting, trying to keep those arms reached high overhead, close to your ears, keeping that chest lifted, sitting back into those heels. And pulling up, squeezing the glutes at the top. So that's the end of our warm up. Hopefully we got a little blood moving. Now it's time to move into our workout. First exercise is a chest press step back. You wanna be standing facing away from your anchor, arms fully extended, right about level with your shoulders. Those straps come around your neck like a bow tie. You wanna start in a moderately hard chest press position. We're only doing five reps here and then we're gonna take a nice big step back into a challenging chest press position. You might be limited by your door. Let's try to make those straps as long as possible so that you can steepen your angle of your push-up. From this more difficult chest press position, you're gonna take one final step back. This should be a really challenging push-up position. Five reps here. And then we're gonna step forward again. For five, step forward one more time into that moderate chest press position for your final five reps. So we're doing 25 reps total from moderate to difficult to really challenging, back to difficult and to moderate. Second exercise is a clock. This is for shoulder mobility and stability. You're gonna reach your arms up overhead. So your biceps are right by your ears. You're leaning into your trainer. So putting weight into those handlebars, making sure you're a nice straight plank from your feet to the top of your hands. And then as you push away from your with your anchor, you're gonna slowly rotate your hand down towards your hip. So we've got 10 on each side. Again, belly button pulled in nice and tight, nice strong plank, neck and neutral spine. Reaching nice and tall, keeping those arms up by your ears. Keeping tension on the straps. 
Our third exercise is a calf raise. You're still facing away from your anchor with those nice long straps, but you're gonna tuck the straps under your armpits. And then you're leaning in, so putting tension on the straps, leaning in. You're gonna step your feet back towards your anchor point. So you want a nice steep angle that still allows your heels to touch the ground and then come up onto those toes. You've got 15 calf raises coming nice and high onto those toes. Belly button pulled in, nice strong plank. Those are your first three exercises. From here, you're gonna repeat the first three exercises two times through, starting with that chest press step back and forward into your clock and then that calf raise. So go ahead and pause the video and repeat those three exercises. Our first exercise in our next set is gonna be a low row step in, just like that chest press, but this time facing anchor. You're gonna start with your hands pulled into your armpits in that finished position with your scapula squeezed tight behind you. Drop yourself back in a nice strong plank and then pull yourself forward, squeezing those scapula and elbows behind you. You'll do five at a moderate difficulty and then take a big step in, five more. Take one final big step in and five at the most challenging position. And you're gonna step back away from your anchor point again. A little bit easier angle. Five more. And then we'll take one step back away from our anchor point again. For that final five, that moderate difficulty. So 25 reps total of the low row from moderately challenging to more challenging to extremely challenging and then back. Second exercise is a crocodile. So you step towards your anchor, reaching one arm above your head and one arm down by the opposite hip. You want tension on both straps. And let yourself fall against those anchor points, nice and controlled in a strong plank position. And then lifting with your back and back of shoulders, yourself back towards your anchor point. Switching arms. So palms face each other as they close together and you drop away from your anchor and you rotate your hands and open up. You've got 10 on each side. Working this back and back of shoulders, keeping tension on the straps. Through the entire exercise. Our third exercise in this series is a muscle up. So you're gonna start facing your anchor point. Hands are slightly behind your legs with tension pushing down through the straps. You're gonna bend your knees, bend your elbows, lower yourself to the floor nice and controlled, and then explode up through your feet, throwing your hips forward, pulling with your arms and pushing down through and into those triceps. This is an explosive movement. So you're driving your force through your feet and driving down with your hands on the anchor, standing tall, so keeping your chest lifted, head drives towards the ceiling as you push up and through. Throw those hips forward, drive your hands down and through. Okay, we're gonna pause the video here and you're gonna repeat those three exercises two more times through, starting with that low row step in, then the crocodile, and finally the muscle up. Our first exercise in our last set of exercises is an alternating hamstring curl. Lie on your back with your heels in your foot straps. 
Let gravity pull those heels to the floor, dropping all your weight into the foot straps. Lift your hips slightly off the ground, and then drag and pull your heel into your hamstring, pulling your toes back towards your face in dorsiflexion, keeping a nice strong reverse plank position with a straight line being able to be drawn between your heels, your hips, and your shoulders. Our next exercise is a side plank, crunch, scissor, hold. To get into the side plank position, you wanna put your top foot in front of your bottom foot Roll onto your side, put your right hand next to your hip on the floor and stack your left shoulder and elbow. And push yourself up into a plank position. You can leave your hand on the floor, on your hip or up above your head. We're gonna do five crunches, then five scissors, opening and closing our legs, and then a five second hold in that side plank position. You can modify this exercise by just bringing it to the floor, doing a side plank on the floor and holding for 15 to 20 seconds each side. So repeating on the opposite side, five side plank crunches, five scissors, and then a five second hold, suspended side plank. Our final exercise today is a pike. We'll be starting in a low plank position with our toes in the foot cradles. Elbows stacked under shoulders. You're gonna lift your hips, pulling your feet into your elbows, dropping your head between your shoulders. You strengthen that core and in those shoulders as we lift and pull you have 10. So you get to repeat again two times through those last three exercises hamstring curl side planks and your pike. Nice work today.